Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Miranda. So in this video, I wanted to talk about the transition from the bassinet into the crib. And so my little girl, Mila, I transitioned her actually really early. I transitioned her at um, two and a half months. So the recommended age that they say to transition is about six months. Um, but in my situation, uh, Mila, she's very tall. She was outgrowing her bassinet already. So her legs were at the end, her head was almost about to hit the top. And when she did her little stretches, her arms were hitting the sides. And so I wanted to transition her early for that reason. Um, but with speaking with a lot of women on this subject, um, I've actually come to know that the ideal age for a lot of people is between actually three and four months. And so I wanted to talk to you guys today about how you can do it and why you should do it. And so let's get started. The why. So it is known that in about your first trimester of pregnancy, your baby becomes one with you by your smell. They can sense your smell, they can smell your unique smell. And so being in a bassinet beside you, um, baby is gonna wake up, you know, and they're going to know that you're around just by your unique smell. And so you wanna transition baby when they get to the ideal age, three, four, five months. In my case, two and a half, three months. And it'll help them sleep better and it'll help you sleep better. Um, you know, babies have infants, newborns, they have sleep cycles, just like adults do. Their sleep cycles are around 45 to an hour, 45 minutes to an hour long. And you know, when in the middle of the night, when you're, you're kind of awake, but you're not awake, you're tossing and you're turning and you turn over and you go right back to bed, babies do the same thing. And if baby's not beside you while they're doing that, you're not waking every 45 to an, minutes to an hour just watching them because you hear them you know you're gonna you're gonna get more sleep this way and so that is one reason why you want to transition your baby another reason is that when baby is in his or her own bed they're going to have a much better sleep especially if they're in their own room um, and so how you can do this is when I started transitioning Mila start them in their cribs in nap time so when you're napping them throughout the day nap them start them napping them in their crib um, when you're doing tummy time start doing tummy times in their crib you know instead of on the floor or in the playpen or wherever you do it start doing tummy time in the crib and them comfortable in the crib before they're in there for a whole night's sleep um, another thing too is don't expect to just have baby go right from bassinet into the crib full night without waking up a hundred times. Um, so Mila wakes up and she's always woken up one time throughout the night. And so it's usually around like 2 or 3 a.m. And so when I first started transitioning her from her bassinet into her crib in her 3 a.m. feeding, she would not go right back to bed in her crib. So I would put her in the bassinet for the rest of the night until she woke up at like 8 to 9 a.m. Um, and now after a few days, it probably only took up a few days with her, um, she could sleep. I could put her, after her feeding at 3 a.m., I could put her right back into the crib and she would sleep comfortably for the rest of the night until the morning. And so that's another thing. Don't go in, you know, hoping that you're gonna transition baby from bassinet into crib and it's going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> so I hope this short little tips and tricks video is going to help some of you. You know, um, our goal as mamas, as new mamas, is to get as much sleep as we can. We kind of become obsessed with it. And so I hope that the transition is easy for you. I hope that you give baby some time to adjust to their new surroundings. Um, being in a bigger bed is going to be different for them. You know, they're not cuddled in their bassinet anymore. They're in a much open space, so just give them a little, a little time to adjust. Um, I hope that you guys adjust well. Another thing here that I want to add quickly is um, what can help relieve some anxiety from you 
because um, I know as a mom, you know, my baby's sleeping next to me all night. I can just wake up and I see her and I know she's okay. Um, when she's in the crib, I had a little bit more anxiety in the middle of the night when I would wake up. Um, not being able to just see her, I had to run into her room to make sure that she's okay. Get a video uh, video monitor. I got one from Babies R Us for 80 bucks. It's a VTech one. Works perfectly fine. I can see her on the screen. It's night vision so I can see her head. I see her face. I know everything's okay that she's still sleeping and um, I highly recommend for you anxious mamas to get a video baby monitor. Um, you know you can get them on like Facebook Marketplace or Kijiji too. Second hand works. Um, but it will relieve some of your anxieties if you're waking up in the middle of the night and you're anxious about baby. Um, so I hope that these tips and tricks trips helped you in my short little video here about how to transition your baby. So I hope that my short video on tips and tri tricks for transitioning baby from bassinet to crib helps you. Um, again, if you have any comments, if you have anything else that helps you um, that I haven't mentioned, please drop it in the comments. Um, and if you have any questions, you know, comment as well. I will try and get back to you. Um, and thank you for watching. I hope you guys will subscribe to my videos. Um, I hope to be posting more about babies in the future. Um, until next time, thanks guys.